There's been a lot of talk online over the years about how rich some politicians really are. Fortunately, U.S. senators and U.S. representatives are required to file annual financial disclosures listing their assets and their liabilities. So I wrote code to scrape those filings and estimate each member's net worth as accurately as possible. Here are some of the wildest things that I've found so far. Take AOC, for example. You've probably seen viral posts claiming she's worth millions, sometimes even tens of millions of dollars. But that's actually nowhere near the truth. According to her most recent disclosure, she reported only around $25,000 in total assets. No stocks, no property, no private businesses, just a few bank and mutual fund accounts that are each under $15,000. And she even still lists up to $50,000 in student loan debt. Bernie Sanders is another that also gets a lot of heat for potentially being far richer than he lets on. But again, the numbers don't lie. He's been in Congress since 1991, and since we started tracking his net worth in 2014, it's never topped a million dollars. Like AOC, most of his money is just in cash and mutual funds. He does, however, earn some royalties from book sales, $148,000 from Penguin Random House in 2024, to be exact. Overall, we estimate his current net worth to be around $950,000. On the other hand, some members of Congress have built massive fortunes while they've been in office, and no one represents that better, probably, than Nancy Pelosi. Unlike AOC or Bernie, much of Pelosi's wealth is tied up in publicly traded stocks. In 2024 alone, she traded nearly $40 million worth of stock. And thanks to her exceptional stock picking or possibly just impeccable timing, her net worth has more than doubled since we started tracking it. Today, it's over $250 million. Remarkably, even at $250 million, Pelosi is not the wealthiest member of Congress. That title actually goes to Florida Senator Rick Scott. His net worth tops half a billion dollars. Unlike Pelosi, however, none of it is in publicly traded stocks. His wealth comes from private businesses, real estate, and fixed income investments like treasuries and municipal bonds. Since being elected in 2019, he actually hasn't reported a single trade in any publicly available stocks. These are just a few examples, but we've built a full dashboard where you can see the net worth of every member of Congress along with the stocks and other assets that they hold. Right now, today, there are nearly 300 members of Congress who have a net worth over a million dollars. 